What's going on, everybody? It's Davey from the 80s, and you are now entering the Cinema Chop Shop, so park your ass right there. And while you're there, don't forget to hit the like, the share, the subscribe button. Also, if you check the link below, you see a Patreon account. If you click it, you can become a member. All you got to do is try to recommend movies, music, trailers, me to react to, so click the link. Now, with that being said, we are here today to review They Slash Them, which is a freaking Peacock original film. And this movie is directed by John Logan, who is a writer. He don't really do many too many movies. This is his first uh, directorial debut, but my man has a huge laundry list of things that he wrote on, including Bats, Any Given Sunday, Gladiator, The Time Machine, Star Trek Nemesis, Sinbad, Legend of the Seven Seas, The Last Samurai, The Aviator, Sweeney Todd, The Demon Barber of Fleet Street, Rango, uh, Hugo, Skyfall, uh, Spectre, and Alien Covenant. Now he is finally getting into the directorial game. And he also wrote this movie too, is They and Them, right? So whatever, let's get into this. My man is also has some, I guess, producer vibes on um, Penny Dreadful, but whatever. Anyway, to the point, They, Them. This movie is all about a group of gay teenagers uh, that go to a camp. They were sent to a camp by their parents in order to try to transform them into straight, like to go straight, right? That's the whole idea, to fix them, to rehabilitate them from being gay. Uh, they send them to this camp, and the uh, Kevin Bacon is the camp counselor, and he has, like, um, his staff with him. The, one of the girls on the staff is a, the little girl from My Girl. Uh, so he has this freaking, uh, this camp staff, and they work with him, and they do these activities or whatever, and Kevin Bacon himself is coming off as, like, Mr. Like, it's okay, and, you know, like, I understand. I accept the people who you, who you are, and et cetera, et cetera. He's being like really cool to everybody. So, you know, Kevin Bacon's coming off as like, you know, the, the nice person, but somehow some terror starts breaking in. There's a serial killer running around a camp, gutting and stabbing people. And that's where we go into the slasher territory, right? So my gripes with the film, first and foremost, the soundtrack, I feel like it's non-existent because I don't even remember anything about the soundtrack, right? The directorial idea, of this movie, like the writing behind it. It's not a bad idea. It's just the problem is the movie doesn't feel like a slasher. It's advertised as a slasher, it's advertised as a horror, but it doesn't feel so until maybe the end of the movie. And then by the time it hits you with the slasher aspect, it feels so out of place that you're just kind of questioning, well, does this shit even belong here, right? Like, I don't, I don't, you're, you might be a little bit too late, my friend, to try to reintroduce the slasher aspect so late into the movie because you've already lost the essence of what this movie is supposed to be already. Um, it's not a bad idea, right? Because what you have here is some camp counselors that have these nefarious ideas or these um, these this hidden agenda or whatever. And there that's there that aspect. And then there's also the freaking killer that's running around and doing it, right? So the problem is again, they deviated away from the horror element. There's even like a fucking song and dance number like in the middle of the movie, like out of fucking nowhere. And I'm just like, was that necessary? You know, and there's just certain scenes. This movie is filled with so many scenes and so much dialogue and so much unnecessary shit where it just feels like it's fluff. You know what I mean? Like, it's just, was that necessary? Was that even needed? Like, what what is the purpose of this shit, right? Like, I'm just, I, I, I'm finding myself, I was constantly asking myself this during this whole fucking movie. What is the purpose of this thing? What is the purpose of that thing? What is the purpose of this? What's the purpose of that? There's literally a scene in the movie, I bullshit you now, that's about five to six minutes long. And it doesn't even, no, actually there's two scenes about five minutes long each that have absolutely nothing to do with the movie. You could have kind of like, you, there's certain scenes where you could, we get, we as the audience get the idea. You don't need to just go full into the scene and make us watch it to understand what the hell just went on, right? We understand what just went on. It's clear as day. Why the fuck do we need to watch this whole scene transpire? It's kind of like, you know that the movie had to hit a certain runtime amount and you needed to make sure that it hit that mark. So it really comes off as kind of like weird and inorganic and it kind of just stands out tremendously. And even the thing about it is like, if you're gonna make a slasher movie and you're gonna make the slasher element minuscule and small, in the movie, like you're forgetting about it altogether, at least make the kills dope. There's probably only like one rememberable kill in the whole damn movie. The rest of the kills are like mediocre as shit, right? They could have done a lot more with this movie. The whodunit aspect really didn't even get played, in the, played enough. 
it, it, it's like it wants you to be a whodunit. There's like this big reveal at the end, and it's like, well, you never even presented yourself as a whodunit. You know, like they're not even aware that these things are even transpiring. These things are happening in the background. It's like nobody's even noticing what's happening until like the damn near end of the movie. And you're just like, well, um, now it's a whodunit, right? It's like this movie is a fucking complete clusterfuck and doesn't know what the hell it wants to be, right? You have to buy into an idea very early into the film and you have to commit to it. If you're going to be a horror whodunit, then stick from that shit from beginning to end. Do not deviate away from it. Do not go somewhere else down the road. Like, it, it, was, it just really felt so out of place. Like, I felt like I was watching a drama movie for about an hour and some change before the horror elements creeped its way back in. And as so fast as it creeped in, it creeped right back out the door and went right back to the drama elements. This movie was a, this movie wasted fucking Kevin Bacon. This movie wasted a decent idea. And this movie could have been good if it wasn't for whatever, the, whoever wrote this shit. Somebody wrote this movie and I don't know what the fuck they were on. Maybe they're off of some K2 or some shit. These motherfuckers need to go back to the drawing board because that shit was not a well-written, well-thought-out movie. And then on top of that, whoever it is that's also involved in this shit, now I'm thinking about it, John Logan has not done any fucking, oh, well, he did Sweeney Todd, but I don't think he's done like, he's did Penny Dreadful. Well, I haven't even seen Penny Dreadful, but I think it has horror elements in it. You cannot expect somebody that's not deep into horror to be able to encompass that shit. There was no sense of terror. There was no sense of fear. There was no thrill. There was nothing. There was none of that shit. This shit felt so fucking empty. And, and I, I, it really was a chore to get through it. And the only reason I'm, I got through it is because I was like, well, maybe, maybe it'll be redeemed. Maybe this fucking ending will redeem it somehow. And maybe I'll feel better about this shit at the end. And I did not feel better about this shit at the end. So you already know what the fuck I'm going to give this shit. Here on the Cinema Chop Shop, you get three... Uh, fuck it, this movie's getting bodied. Get what you fucking deserve! I just caught me a mean body! You heard it, folks. I am body in this fucking movie. I'm not going to waste my time. You shouldn't waste your time either. I am basically saving you guys a fucking trip to the ER because this movie was a fucking mind numbing headache from beginning to fucking end. They wasted a cool slasher idea with a cool looking mask and they wasted that shit on the most, I don't even want to fucking talk about it. Anyway, I'm done with this fucking movie. You wasted Kevin Bacon. You wasted my girl. You wasted my damn time. And that's what the fuck you don't do. You are now exiting the Cinema Chop Shop. Hope you guys are having a magnificent day. Don't forget to drop some comments in the comment section down below. Let me know if you agree with anything that I just said. Don't forget to subscribe to my damn channel. Don't forget to like this damn video. And I will see you guys next time. Adios.